Shuang Tzu's dream and the butterfly was a fresh night in the old China. A friend from Shuang Tzu went to look for him in a local inn. Once there, he found him sitting at a table, drinking his tea with a contemplative countenance. Shuang Tzu, why are you so silent? There is a question in my mind. A question about existence. Maybe you can help me. Today I went out for a walk in the late afternoon. I went under a large tree. There I sat there and started thinking about the meaning of life. It was so fresh and pleasant that I soon relaxed and got asleep. Then I started to dream that I was flying over a beautiful flowering field. I looked back and saw that I had wings. They were big and beautiful and stirred quickly. I had turned into a butterfly. I felt a huge sense of freedom and joy. Everything in this field seemed completely real in every way. So much so that, after a while, I completely forgot that one day I was Xuanzu. I was simply a butterfly and nothing more. Slowly, I woke up and realized that I was Xuanzu again. This is what intrigues me. Then your friend told him, What is so intriguing? You had a beautiful dream and that's all. And Xuanzu answered, This conversation I'm having with you seems real in every way. Just like my dream. What if I'm dreaming now? I dreamed it was a butterfly, and when I woke up, I saw that he was a man. Now I don't know if I'm a man who dreamed of it was a butterfly, or if I'm a butterfly that is dreaming that he is a man. Right now, both are possible. If Chuang Tzu can dream that it's a butterfly, why can't a butterfly dream that she is Chuang Tzu? Then your friend told you. Well, I can tell you that you are really Chuang Tzu and not a butterfly. Chuang Tzu smiled. So there is nothing you can do to help me identify the distinction between Chuang Tzu and the butterfly. This, my friend, is the essential question about the transformation of existence.